What will your first tasks as the head of the court be and when do you plan to start? Judges and some staff have now been appointed, but we have a huge amount of work. We need to staff the court and solve the issues of logistics for the Supreme Anti-Corruption Court. As of today, there is no spare building that meets the needs of the judicial institution. These questions are the very first, the most important and fundamental, without resolving which we cannot begin our work. It was established in today's judges' meeting that we start working on September the 5th, 2019. By this date, we will do our best to resolve all the problems that we currently have and begin implementing justice. We are currently inside the building of the former Pechersk District Court. Will this be your temporary location? After all, you have been allocated some space in the Solomansky District of Kyiv. What happened to that building? Why can you not start working there? The space provided by the cabinet in November 2018, unfortunately, is not adapted for the court to function in. It requires major repair work, redevelopment, reconstruction, all of which take time. Now there is the question of providing the Supreme Anti-Corruption Court with a temporary building. Unfortunately, the premises of the Pechersk District Court cannot physically accommodate all the staff and judges whose presence is necessary for the judicial institution to function. So before September the 5th you need to resolve this issue. Are there any other things that need to be resolved before the full launch of the court? There's a lot of questions remaining, but all of them can be resolved very soon. The main, fundamental issue is finding the building for the Supreme Anti-Corruption Court. We know that some cases that are now being considered in the Ukrainian courts will be handed over to the Anti-Corruption Court. There are many high-profile cases, around 200. Will this not obstruct the start of the court's work? After all, all of this will fall on just 38 judges. It is difficult to prognose anything right now, and I probably won't take this responsibility on this regard. We'll work and we'll see how it's all going to pan out. But you understand it yourself that people's expectations are high regarding this court. They want to see first verdicts. How are you planning to meet those expectations? Taking into consideration these expectations of the Ukrainian nation, Ukrainian community, we took this responsibility upon ourselves. Without practically any financial or technical foundation, we set ourselves a deadline, September the 5th, 2019. It's a very big responsibility. We realize that at this moment there is practically nothing but the judges. It was stated during today's meeting that the plan is to announce 20 to 30 verdicts by the end of this year, regardless whether it's guilty or not guilty. Some people even mentioned 100 verdicts. What are your expectations regarding this number? I will probably repeat myself. It is impossible to predict the result of a case, the term of its consideration, without seeing the materials of the criminal proceedings, without starting a trial. I understand that your question requires a specific answer, but I cannot provide it today. And how are you feeling? Are you ready to lead the fight against corruption in Ukraine, since it is considered one of the largest problems in the country? In fact, the position of the head of the Supreme Anti-Corruption Court is not some kind of privilege. It's a heavy load of responsibility, both for myself and for the court establishment. What do I feel? On the one hand, I feel some sort of worry before the unknown. On the other, it's a certain pleasure from the fact that I will have an opportunity to make a contribution into the development of Ukraine as a rule of law state. Is there any kind of special case of honor that you think needs to be resolved? I understand that the court needs to remain objective, but is there any one special case? 
I have been a judge since June 2012. I can assure you that each case is a matter of honor for a judge. Every civil, criminal or administrative case is regarded as most crucial for all the parts, and therefore it's a very big responsibility for a judge. Every case is a matter of honor. Openness and professionalism are expected from the anti-corruption court. You have not received any complaints about integrity, neither from the Council of International Experts nor from civic organizations. However, your declarations state that you and your husband own seven land plots in Kharkiv. Can you explain their origin, since we expect this openness? If you look at the electronic declaration, which can be found at the National Agency for Prevention of Corruption website, you will see a sale contract for them. These plots were acquired by my husband for business purposes. So he is a businessman and he can afford it? He is an entrepreneur. He has his own business, and such are his plans.